Right, test wash cycle of my Hot Point Aquarius plus FDW 70. Uh, trouble is that I haven't really got that much room for as water is concerned. Um, I can keep the machine going whilst it's running. Um, I'll just have to find. I can just put this over at the back. So long as it's uh, drained, and finished draining, I can empty the uh, thing. You see, you can hear the buzzing. As the drain pump works. So, a bit of a job for me to do. But it was for free, I didn't buy it like post it. Parts wise, will I fix it? Yeah, I will fix it. Quick update for you. Um, I've replaced the capacitor, the motor capacitor on this. Um, where is it? There's the old one. Uh, like I said, I got told it all fully working and it didn't. Um, right, remember, if you go back on programs and options, this digit actually lit up despite the machine actually not obviously pumping the water out. Since then, um, I plugged it in, I'll have to test it again because it's been a while to be honest. 
right? I had it even tested. It's been a while since before I got the part. Right. Switched it on, plugged it in. Digit missing. This digit's not lit up. So it's 1.12. It's 1 hour 20 something left. Who knows? Right, this, right, this is going to go in our kitchen and you'll probably stay there now until Revenant comes to the end of the world. It's, it's in alright condition. Um, the heat is supposedly works. When I first tested it, the, I felt the heating element and it had only been on for like 10 seconds, you know. Honestly, didn't find it actually uh, pumping anything. But supposedly it works, so... We'll give this a bit of a let this go through its cycle. Well, we'll let it go through its wash cycle. I'm not playing it through its drying phase yet. I'm not particularly bothered. If the drying it has a drying element. Most dishwashers nowadays don't even come with one. Old dishwashers did. Well, new ones don't anymore. They just rely on rinse aid to dry your dishes in the last hot rinse. Um, Quite that, that actually works. Now it's just a matter of getting this from down here upstairs. So just stick it in the car and drive it around, but I need someone to help you in and my girlfriend isn't even here. Hey. Oh. Hey. I'll let this go for the side first. Right! Alright guys, I'll let that go through a little bit, you're in about 20 minutes or so. You may not be able to see it, no, I don't think you can on camera. But you can just about see the water going in. Let's get set up the pipe, that's the top rack. Um, but oddly enough on hot point dishwashers, you don't actually have a top top one. Like normal dishwashers tend to have one on the rack and then one at the top, but this one doesn't. Like, like for example, our Bosch has one to, to the rack uh, and then one to the top. So this one not actually have one, it just uses its like twin all spray on, like top and bottom holes. Ooh. And that's hot. So this is my Hotpoint FDW Aquarius Plus, FDW 70 Aquarius Plus dishwasher. Oh, and this is our rented house, so we've never seen it actually, this is our kitchen. We've got, um, that, that's the landlady's new 50cm uh, fridge with a uh, freezer compartment. Um, so obviously it's like 15 years old. These are broken. The bottom one's not even in it. What's over there? 
the basically the, the clip's gone brittle and snapped. We've got an Al Gore uh, oven and hob, which are rubbish. Uh, there's our Hoover freezer, that's actually really good. Um, we've got that, and we need a 55 centimeter one because I am gonna plan I'm planning to get the matching fridge. Um, I'm paying for that because uh, that's only 55 centimeters wide. That's a 50, and it can come out to there. 55. That's 60 centimeters there. It's room for a washing machine. Um, there's no videos of it yet, just yet. There might be. But there's a Beko WM6103, that is the landlady's, and that was originally where it went. But I've got plumbing put in downstairs. Now I've got a dishwasher up here. Right, it's time for insulation. So I've got my pipe. There's the hose and whatever. Anyone like me wrapping? Clean filming? Yeah. Just to protect it. Carl brought it up here. I've had to wheel it all the way around the block. And there's our stairs. See? We can't actually get it round the cut the, the curved stairs, so we just wheeled it round, me and my mum. Just brought it in there. So now we're gonna install it. Right, quick test. Phil. As you might be able to hear, the, the, the pressure isn't very good. It's alright. Right like for dishwasher. This is the reason why the washing machine was uh, moved out. Um, Say so self tapping tap, which is rubbish. I'm more concerned about the drain. Uh, it doesn't feel fully secure, and for some reason. I had to put that cap on, that cap's had to be put on. Um, stop blurring camera, you, you need cleaning. Right. And it's full of gunk, so I'm hoping that the pressure of the water when I drain it will just blast the, the muck back out. That seems alright. Right, let's set this up. <laughs> 